Love is the most attractive force in the universe. It is a magnetic force that brings friends, couples, families, communities, nations, and humanity together. Love is energy. It is the building block of all things. It is an actual substance that takes on the appearance of many forms. Love cannot be measured. It is an internal emotion that helps move the world. The greatest happiness in life is the passion to love, the capability to receive love, and the ability to love ourselves. What can we do to make someone feel more special? It doesn't always have to be giving them money or merchandise. What about giving someone a pat on the back or giving them some attention? What is more motivating than seeing love or giving love and changing someone's life because you are emotionally giving them your healing energy? It is no different for a child or an adult donating their time to a convalescent home for the elderly who are disabled. Giving them love and attention or just giving them your wonderful smile creates healing energy for them as well as yourself. You can touch people's lives with your thoughts and your mind. You can touch people's lives without even touching them as long as you have the intention in your heart that you are doing it not with the intention of getting anything back in your life but only giving from your heart. We can all learn from nature. Let's look at plants. When you talk to them and play them music, when they receive love and the feeling that they're getting attention, they are absorbing this in through sounds. Those plants that receive this love and attention grow bigger and blossom more than those plants that don't. Now, you're telling me that a plant doesn't have a brain. Well, maybe it does. Who knows? The bottom line is, we know that it's alive and it's being controlled by the universal laws. A plant, when you give it love and attention, when you play nice music for it, you feed it with love, it flourishes with more life, more beauty, and more harvest. When you take the study of that plant and the plant that gets nothing, they grow differently. Think about that, people. They have done it in pets, they have done it in rats, and they have done it in animals. The love you give an animal, the love you give a pet, the healthier their life will become. When a loss of a spouse or a child occurs, there's a lot of grieving and depression that takes place with the widow or family members. There is a high correlation of sickness that happens to them over the year. Family and friends need to be supportive during those hard times. It makes all the difference in their life. It is that love and positive energy that helps the healing, restores life, and allows health to flourish. Let's talk about the truth of love, the truth of giving, the truth of sharing, the truth of being together, the truth about life. There's nothing bigger than life. That's it. People like you and I need to communicate with others to talk to, to get reinforcement, and to develop more certainty. We can't survive without other people on this earth. We would lose our purpose. We would not be able to grow and transform our lives. Remember the universal principle. Whatever energy we put out in the universe always comes back within our lives. You may not see it come back, but in one form or another, it will. I know a young lady that works in our office. We call her Powerful Peggy. She said, Dr. Mandel, I have been trying so hard. I just keep giving and doing and sharing. How come things haven't changed in my life like I expected? Listen to her words. She expected something. She expected something to come back to her life. That's when we get ourselves in trouble. Giving for the sake of giving is what the universal law teaches us. I said, just keep doing for others, and when it's your time, it will come back. You may want something, but don't look out for it, because it will find you. It will find you. We must always look inside of us first. 
We must clear the trash out. Any negative thoughts that we're putting into the universe from anything happening in our life, we can be assured that this is affecting our ability to grow. In our busy lives, many of us become so blinded from the negative energy that dwells inside of our minds. Get that negative out of your soul. Put that positive, loving energy out in the world and watch the miracles of life happen before our eyes. From your heart, bring your passion to life, and life will bring your passion to you.